DTC 1992, people are interviewed in India, nay or down. Corner Ryanaya, welcome to Om Lotus video. Inspired by the teachings of the great sage Swami Shivananda, the International Shivananda Yoga Vedanta Centers was founded by Swami Vishnu Devananda, a world authority on yoga and a tireless campaigner for world peace. Join us in listening to the views and opinions of yoga teacher trainees just after the completion of their final examination at the end of the yoga teacher's course held at the Shivananda Ashram in the tropical South India state of Kerala. Students of diverse backgrounds from all over the world came for the one-month course to learn and live the yogic way of life. And what do you do? What was your work before you came? I was working in Africa, working in rural development, um, in agriculture and appropriate technology. Just, Just finished it. How did you like the course? I, from a complete beginner uh, perspective, I really enjoyed it. I had no prior information, no prior uh, mm, expectation, and really enjoyed everything. Hopefully, you'll stick with me for a while. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Uh, you just took the teacher training course? Yes. How was the course? Uh, I was okay at first. I didn't like it at all. It was just too intense, overwhelming. <laughs> but uh, it got better. What um, was overwhelming? Uh, all the chanting, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> and the discipline, having to wear a uniform, and just always being on the go. My name is Dharma. Dharma? Yeah. What's that mean? It means a universal order. order. Uh, up until about 22 years ago, it was quite often maybe once a week, over a period of about eight or nine years, the idea of suicide came into my mind. I felt totally nihilistic about life. And on a winter evening in Toronto, a cockney friend of mine, looking depressed out of the window, said, Don, you fancy going to evening classes? I said, do what? Yoga. Yoga. Yeah, it looks interesting. So we went on on the first night. It was a Shivananda teacher. Just to give you a handful of tools to tell you you're in control of your life. And me at the age of 30, finding that out seemed very strange. But from then on in, I've never thought about that again. So it's obviously been a very strong tool in my life. That's a wonderful. Our beautiful ashram sits on the banks of a tranquil dam at the edge of a dense tropical jungle, a section of which has been set aside as a lion park. And... Ah! Ayo! <laughs> Again. Again. Right in good enough. Yeah. Yeah, you want to go? Do you mind if I ask you what is your age? 64. 64. Mm -hmm. You just took the teacher training course? Course this year, last year also too. Twice? Oh, Why second did you year. take it twice? Because uh, some, I have some interest more in the city. Where are you from? England, London. You just finished the yoga teacher training course? Yeah. How was the course? It was good. good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I learned a lot. What did you learn? Um, yeah, and there's more awareness and perception and... Yeah, it's been good. Good experience. Yeah. Chin up, out, back, your chest up, back. And hold. Breathe. Try and get your head further back. Your feet, your heels together. What is your name? My name is Shulyan Mitra. I am coming from. For the first time, I have taken this course. It is very really good and nice for me to know auto yoga and Vedanta philosophy all together at a time. And I have learned much more about auto yoga provided. My name is Balarama. Balarama. Yes. You just did the teach training course. Yes. How was it? It was very good. It was. Uh, an uplifting experience. Learn some the meditation takes a lot of discipline. That's the and so, yeah, it's very easy to drift and let uh, thoughts carry you away. And at times, it becomes easy to watch the thoughts drift and stay in the same place. But it's uh, something that takes an awful lot of patience and practice and discipline. Pranayama 
Control of the vital energy through breathing exercises is practiced as a means to quieten the restless mind. Merchant Marine or you were in the Navy? Originally I was in the Navy but uh, currently I am a master mariner off and on going out to sea. So I hope you enjoy that course. It was really a very good course and uh, it has uh, opened up a lot of uh, aspects for me to think and I think it has given me a much better and a deeper insight to a lot of things and I generally I think it's brought about a change for the better for the better in my yourself. perception, in my perception. Uh -huh. did you find it interesting that there are people from all different nationalities it was indeed very interesting and particularly what struck me most is that within a short time we all settled down to work on a very um, common frequency or wavelength and uh, the synergistic effect of that is something which is wonderful. Wow, that is very interesting. I understand you have a sense of humor, is this correct? It is for other people to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, whenever I look at the mirror, I start laughing at my own self. <laughs> Yoga exercises including the salute to the sun, are practiced daily by the students in order to maintain radiant health. What is the course? Good? Oh, good. Ah, good. good. Very, Very nice. good. Yes. You enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, well. What's your name? My name is Linda Riddle. And you're from? California. What do you do out there? I work for the Forest Service. Mm. How was it? Well, it was a lot of things. <laughs> it was fun, it was sometimes boring, <laughs> it was hard sometimes, and uh, sometimes it was easy. You learned something? Yeah, I learned that uh, yoga is a lot more than just asanas and pranayama. That's an important thing. Yeah, yeah. How did you enjoy chanting and meditation? Uh, I haven't done a lot of meditation and chanting before, but uh, I think that those were the parts of the course I enjoyed the most. Do you find it beneficial? Yes, I think so. The, the chanting gives you a really good feeling with all the people sitting together and the vibrations from the chanting are really good. Chanting mantras help to keep the mind pure and high. What is your name? Schrecklich. In French, je m'appelle Nicole. And Je m'appelle Shankara. Thanks. Uh, ça m'a beaucoup plu. Ça m'a beaucoup plu. Oui. Oui. Je suis contente de Shank faire cette uh, ah. formation. Formation Shankara. Ça n'a pas toujours été facile, mais uh, c'est positif. A dramatic Kathakali dance performance relating scenes from the profound epic the Mahabharata was performed one evening. Enchanting the students with its color and sound. Diego. Diego, where are you from? I live in England. In England? Where were you born? Berlin. Berlin. German? Extraction? Oh, extraction, half half. <laughs> <laughs> now you took the yoga teacher's training course? Yes, I did. I did take it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you didn't take it? No, I did take it. Uh, it took you. <laughs> yeah, it took me definitely. How did you enjoy it? No, very much. Um, although it's been a great positive experience, I definitely cross front of my. How was the teacher training course? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it was <laughs> strong. <laughs> strong. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you learned something? Yes, I did. have sehr viel gelernt. Viel gelernt. A trip to the jungle and a chance to silence the mind. My name's Tim. 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 Where are you from? I'm from England, um, South England. South England. You used to have a car washing business. Eh? That's right, I was uh, self-employed. I had my own car valeting business. <laughs> <laughs> I started looking in and asking myself questions. What do I want? Where do I want to go? And then um, I went to... I met a friend and she was going to the Mind, Body and Spirit Festival. 
in London. And uh, I went along and I saw the Shivananda Yoga, had a, they had a, like a stall up there. I, I was very pulled to this. And um, anyway, so I started doing some yoga at the Shivananda Yoga Center in Putney, and that was it. So he told me about his teaching course, and I had to do it, and it's an incredible uh, experience. <sighs> Training course was very. Uh, some experience. Some experience. I some experience. Uh, sure, that's why we have been here. I learned to do asanas, I improved my asanas. Yes, and I enjoyed uh, satsang very much, uh, chanting. And yes, I feel some small things changing a little bit during this short time. In Hindi, I have done a Trivandrum in Yoga ka course. Kiya. Yeah. In Tamil, I have done a Yoga course in Tamil. Yeah. And in Marathi, I have done a Trivandrum in Yoga ka course. Ke la hai. And in English, I have undergone a Yoga training course in Trivandrum. Yeah. How was the course? It was just wonderful. Uh, did you learn course? <laughs> it was just wonderful. Uh, did you learn something? I learned lots and lots, which I can't express, but I can feel it, but still yet to learn. Uh, and uh, how is your health? Health is perfect. perfect. I came with a severe backache. It has reduced now, but uh, I'm sure it reduced with constant uh, practice. Practice. Constant practice is indeed the central theme of this intense course. Australia is a country with Mozart, not with kangaroos. This is Australia. <laughs> what do you do there, really, in Australia? Austria. In Austria, yeah. I am an engineer, structural engineer. Uh -huh. And now you came to India and you took a mantra and the name of a Hindu goddess, Kali. That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how is that? How can you explain that? Oh, it's difficult for me to explain it. I have always the feeling that this black goddess it's good for me i don't know why uh, how was teacher training course ha sido ha estado bien pero la filosofía ya estaba familiarizado con la con la filosofía de del yoga entonces no me parece you took the yoga teacher training course yes it's very nice nice course Really good time. Very intense practice. I like that. Where did you first meet Swami Vishnu in London? Well, I met in London in 1982, I think. He was flying uh, over the Berlin world. He was giving a demonstration. Students bring with them all manner of talents. And the weekly talent show, with its cultural exchange, turns out to be a surprising highlight of the month. It's very nice. Nice. Yeah. What do you learn? You know, all the basic postures and the some variations. It's very difficult to learn. <laughs> Why? No time? <laughs> no time, because uh, more time is for karma yoga. Karma yoga. Vishwanath Saha. And which place you're from? I'm from Bombay. What work you do there? I'm with uh, Air India. Air India. And how do you like the teacher training course? Excellent. It's very good. You it's more something? than my expectations. Uh -oh. A lot of uh, asanas and improved uh, asana postures. And uh, I learned a lot of about philosophies. It's an uh, all-round uh, very good program. It's a beautiful design program. It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It was very good experience, like living together, and really living a yoga, mm -hmm. like all night, all day, all night. I mean, really being a yoga thing. That was the main thing for me. Mm -hmm. And then there was arms and arms and lecture, but there was like a small part. It wasn't the main thing. Mm -hmm. The main thing was like living all together, sharing this atmosphere. Very nice. It was very good, positive, right? It was very, very positive. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the sampling of opinion. The serene jungle has been an apt setting for the transmission of the ancient spiritual teachings of Yoga and Vedanta. With body, mind, and spirit harmonized and integrated by their training, 
the new yoga teachers will spread out into the world, taking with them their inner peace and passing it to others. Om Lotus video is part of the International Shivananda Yoga Vedanta Centers, a non-profit organization established to spread the teachings of Swami Shivananda.